Hello everyone. I am Larry Anila of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. I've got a special guest this afternoon. Please introduce yourself to my viewers. Thank you so much. My name is Kawe Silva. I'm a member of Art and Proud, a bisexual. Where are you from, please? I'm from Uganda, East Africa. It's good to have you on this program. Thank you. Can you be kind enough to share your experience? As a result of your sexuality, what's your experience coming from Uganda? Yeah, well, to be someone like me who is uh, bisexual in Uganda is something that people will be seen like you are disrespectful in the community, you're a person who is seen as insane, you're a person who is seen like you're not really measuring up, you can't uh, talk it about in the community, you have to live in the closest, you can't be you, you yourself as you are. So you have to be like a person who is not uh, welcomed in the society. And how, if you look at your experience back home in Uganda, here we are in the United Kingdom. How has your experience been? Well, thank you for that question. Here in the United Kingdom, what I can say that this is a state or a country where people mind their own business. They don't care who you are. They don't care about your sexuality. They don't care about who you love as long as you are not harming uh, others. So you can choose whoever you love, either sex, same gender, whether you are straight. So for they are open, they protect each and everybody, they protect their citizens because that's who they are. So if you come out like me, that you are a bisexual, you are a gay, you are a lesbian, it's none of their business as long as you are not going outside their laws. You mentioned that in Uganda, if you are bisexual, if you are gay or lesbian, uh, you are termed evil. What's your opinion on that? Can you be bisexual, gay, lesbian, and be a Christian? Well, for them, they believe that you can't be. You are seen as a child of Satan. They seen that you possess demonic uh, spirits, that you can't be a Christian at all, that uh, you are not a person who is when you cannot be holy, you cannot be spiritual, you are all of you, you are satanic. So you can't, that's why you can't come out and say that you are a gay or a bisexual and you are in church. So you are not seen as a person of, of a child of God. So that's not acceptable. So you have either to live in your closet, to go in church, or to go to be yourself and you don't mind about church. What do you believe that? Well, I can say that people, they just misjudge you. Or we, for us human beings, we judge outside someone but thanks be to god that for him he judges even inside of our hearts thank you Siva. um i know you are a christian yes i am a born you, again you, christian you, you, you love the gospel of god yeah. and you are very passionate about your religion yeah. when you hear people refer to gay lesbian trans bisexual as evil What's your opinion? Uh, my opinion is I'm a born again Christian. I worship one true living God. Yeah, there are some people who discriminate us, but I personally, I worship God because he says that we should only fear God because God is the righteous judge. For him, he judges even in our hearts. For us, we see people outside. You see someone dressing well and say he is rich. You see someone like uh, is going too much to the church and say he's sorry. But for God, he knows which is in your heart. So even if you are gay, the Bible says that let every living creature praise God. If I'm a gay, I'm a living person, I ought to praise God. I ought to serve God. And the Bible is all about showing love. Jesus came to the world because God loved so the world. And he gave us his only to son. We should share, we should have that love for one another. So I, I love uh, preaching the gospel of love, the gospel to care of one another. 
So we should not focus on those who are judging. I know people are going to judge us, but it's only God is the final judge. He sees even in our hearts that you are saying this, but we're not this. So we should all fear one true living God. It doesn't matter whether you are lesbian, whether you are uh, gay, whether you are uh, bisexual. It's one only one message. We should worship one true living God and we should fear only him because he's going to judge even in our hearts. For us, we just judge outside. And the scripture, you remember, it says, judge not and thou shalt not be judged. Thank you so much for that. Only if people mm. remember that always, they'll yeah. know that we are all children of God. That's all that I'm saying, that you should only fear God, worship one to live in God, and love one another because everything is done in love. The world exists because of that love. That we don't uh, think of others, just love one another, just care for one another, and the rest are in God's hand. Thank you very much, Sivir. I know you are a Christian. Yes, I am. And um, you believe in the gospel of God. Yes. And you are very passionate about your religion. Yes, I am. When you hear comments like um, the gay men, the lesbian, the bisexual, the trans, they are evil, they are going to hellfire, what is your take on that? What I can say about that, as a, yes, I am a Christian, I'm a born again, and I love the word of God. What I can tell my fellow members, my fellow people who are passionate over their uh, sexuality, that God is the only final judge, because for him, he's going even to judge what is inside our hearts. Yeah. For us human beings, or for those who are judging us, they are judging us based on our outside appearance. So that you see someone dressed in a suit and say he's rich, you see someone say he's dressed like this, he is living this world, but in actual sense, what is not that? But for God, he's going to judge even in uh, deep in our hearts, because everything happens is in, within our hearts. Those who are judging you don't know what they did last time, don't know what they had did uh, tonight. That's why we should only focus and fear God. But the rest, we should love one another. We should spread that love to each other. We should care. We, because even the Bible says that God so loved the world and he sent his only begotten sure. son. So that love, and don't judge others so that you may not be judged. So those who are judging you, don't fear them. You should only fear God the creator of heaven and earth because he knows you more than anybody else thank you god said his beloved child that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but yeah. shall have everlasting life that's and it in the scriptures also he says judge not and thou shall not be you judged not be judged that's your message that's what i'm saying that thank you very much we shouldn't judge others because that's god is work God is the one to judge others, to judge us, because for him is going to judge deep in our, our hearts, not only the outside appearance. Thank you very and much. And the Bible says that every living creature, every breathing person should worship and praise God. So I'm a gay, I'm a bisexual, I'm a lesbian. I have to praise him because that's Hallelujah. what the Bible says. Hallelujah. So you should always follow me. I'm always on the church. I love the word of God. I preach it and I love to see everybody going to heaven. Thank you very much. Okay. We're glad having you this afternoon. Thank Hopefully you so when next we call upon you, we'll find you here. I'm always available. Thank you very much for watching. This is Art and Proud, Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Please watch, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. I'm yours sincerely. Larry Ayla, thanks for watching. See you some other time. Bye bye.